What's good, my people? This your boy, G Chase, man. I'm coming back with another video, man. First off, I want to give a shout-out to my subscribers. And also to the to the uh, 400 and y'all that watch me and more. I'm getting into this video, man. This is not uh, sports-related. We're going to get it. Um, we're going to let that be known off-rip. Um, this is coming for the stat. Um, it's all over the news now. Y'all know Kendrick and Drake had just um, had a beef. Um, the best days of hip-hop that we ever seen and now it's come to a sad moment which i hate reporting on things like this um apparently drake's house got shot at in a drive-by and um his security guard that was at the gate was hit um i'm taking it that drake got cameras at his house apparently drake wasn't home but that's kind of i mean that's kind of weird to me to have a security guard at your gate when you're not home i mean where he lives you're gonna have to climb a wall. You're not just gonna get let in. Like they don't play that shit in Toronto where he at. They have, it's a gated community, so you're gonna have to get buzzed in. And um, you're gonna have to know somebody's number, address, whatever. Um, everybody's gonna go. Oh, it's K dot. It's K. No, it's not K dot. I'm. I hate to inform you, but it's not K dot. Um, K dot would not tarnish his career after defeating a man that that basically like dissed him i don't think he's gonna go that element now it was words between both it was talking about mob ties and all that shit i think that's why the police is gonna look into this shit um especially if that security guard gets up and starts talking um but I, i'll get guarantee any drake fans or any kendrick fans i can guarantee you it wasn't drake now i might have been one of kendrick's fans or something or it might have been a it, like i'm gonna tell you something Drake got an allegation of a pedophilia hanging over his head. It might have been somebody that reacted off that. That saying, "Oh, oh, you out here, you out here trying to, you out here fuck, trying to fuck on little girls," and might have took matters into his own hands. But this is what I find interesting about this whole beef. So, if anybody know my Facebook, I've seen some flash across my um, news feed. They were saying that um, what was it? The U.S. the Universal Music um, the Universal Music Group. Wants Kendrick to apologize to Drake. And on top of that, wants him to, um, wants him to apologize to Drake, wants him to basically just take all his disses down. And I'm thinking to myself, like, that's the stupidest thing to do in hip hop. Like, especially when you, when the words we, the, the disses we've heard from these two. It's been like, it's been very personal. Like, it's been like on, they ain't talking about each other no more. They're talking about each other's families. And they're talking about each other in general. So this is why I don't agree with the diss thing. Why would you diss somebody and then turn around and apologize because the guy lost or felt defeated or he got a bunch of endorsement deals? And this is the thing. I say I'm a I'm a if I hope Kendrick don't do that. I really hope he doesn't apologize because it'll make hip hop look very weak. And even Fifty Cent, who's been a battle rapper, who's everybody's been in his neck, he's been in everybody else's neck. He's never apologized to none of the dudes he beefed with. He might became cool with people like Fat Joe, Jada Kiss, um, Nas, uh. Who else? Um, Jay Z. I don't, I don't think he cool with Jay Z, but you know he might have became cool with these other guys. But he's never went up and said, "Oh, I apologize for the da 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 da." da. But so y'all gonna try to make Kendrick Lamar apologize for some shit that Drake started? And the reason I say Drake started is because if y'all look at the song Euphoria, Kendrick literally in one of his verses said, "This is a friendly fade. Let's keep it that way." Drake. Tends to do this shit every time, like I explained in my last video. He tends to go take shit personal when you're talking tit for tat about him. He tends to say something about your wife, or he'll say something about he says something about your wife, or he'll say something about you know I ain't never heard him say nothing about somebody kid, but he'll definitely say something about your wife. Just take a, 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 the Pusha T angle. He says something about Pusha T's wife, and Pusha T took it there. But Drake only gets personal like that when somebody t when he takes it there first and then somebody retaliates so i feel bad for drake drake going through a lot right now I, I don't wish nothing no harm on no man not even my enemy i wish harm on um 
it, he's just going through a lot right now. You just lost the battle to Kendrick. Um, you got the whole world looking at you uh, about this pedophile, this, this pedophilia, pedophilia situation, and then you got this shit happen at your house. And then, I mean, I think Drake really bit off more than he could chew. He chew. He really felt like he was the king of hip hop. And a lot of times, when you claim king, you have to go and defend claiming king. You just can't claim king and then sit back and with your arms folded like, oh, I'm just, I, ain't nobody f with me because somebody's gonna step up and they're gonna try to, they're gonna try to, th uh, can't even talk right now. Damn it, they're gonna wanna try to dethrone you from being the king of hip hop. So. J. Cole, I, I I know I made a video ranking on him, even whole video, like, why you apologize, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm taking that back. I see why he did that, because right now, J. Cole's living great after we done shit talked to him about for three to five to three to five to ten minutes. He's living his best life right now. He don't have to worry about this beef that seemed like it took a turn for the worse. He don't have to worry about personal skeletons being released. He don't have to worry about none of that stuff. He could literally sit back and just go to sleep like normal, go do his little workouts, go do his show, his shows, go drop an album. Um, he could do all that now. Like he don't have to, he ain't gotta deal with the, the Drake and the Kendrick. Um I hope that no damn Kendrick Lamar Stan really went and did this shit. Cause if you did that 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 makes this battle rap situation not fun. It takes out everything that was supposed to go down with this rap battle. These both were supposed to slay on wax. Whoever had the hardest verses, the hardest slay, won the rap battle. Now it's looking more like, what the fuck did we just get through watching? Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, that's what it's looking like. It's looking like a what the fuck is going on moment. And, um... You know it's real when the when the um head chief of Toronto police has to do uh uh event uh, uh online in I mean an investigation interview in front of Drake's house, which you see the crime tape on. So now if Drake comes home, and I'm pretty sure he's don't even have to come home to know what happened. It's all over the news. Like people are like, and then the guy was being like, he wasn't letting no information go because. You let information go. You never know who's going to run with it and say, oh, well, K-Dot might have sent somebody to do that shit. First of all, K-Dot ain't sending no shooters, bro. He not. He not. Drake neither. Drake talk about mob ties. He's not sending no shooters, bro. Because if he was, this, this beef would have took a fucking turn for the worse. So I'm going to get up out of here. I'm not going to let this video go overboard, man. I'll be trying to keep them short. I do want y'all to write down in my comments, do y'all think this was like some, I don't think it was, ooh, excuse me, I don't think it was no plot that Drake did, I don't think it was no plot that Kendrick did, I'm gonna just tell y'all, that's my thoughts on it, if y'all think otherwise, please feel free to write down in my comment section, man, let me know what y'all thoughts, and anybody can come in, I don't, I don't judge nobody, bro, anybody can come in and speak their piece on it, they can say how they feel about the whole thing, me, I feel like it kind of damaged hip-hop, like, it almost went on some Tupac B shit again. Like, it almost took out two, one of our two, one out of the two of our great rap empire um, heavyweights right now. Because I'm not taking shit from Drake. Even though I don't rock with Drake, I can't take nothing from him. The man has won Grammys. The man has won awards. The man has been selling out album after album after album. Even when you look at some of his albums you might have thought didn't perform well, they still perform well enough for him to get a Grammy off of it. So, um, same with K-Dot. I rock with, now I rock with K-Dot, and I'm not biased. I listen to both discs, and I can give you, um, I can give you a great Drake disc, like I think I did in my last video. If I'm not, I'm gonna give it to you now. Um, Drake, great, Drake, ugh, Drake's greatest disc was, um, fit, uh, was push-ups. And, um, what was the other one he did? Um, fuck. It was the one after push-ups, um... Well, no, it was it was it was push-ups, but um, Kendrick, I was almost about to. He did the one. He did the inferior. I was really about to go off on that, but he did his thing on that. I didn't like the six the six sixteen. I didn't like that one because I wasn't understanding. It seemed like he was rapping, but it seemed like he was just taking subliminals at Drake. But that, but that, not like us. That's a banger, bro. They was paying. They was playing that shit in the NBA game the other night, bro. I think it was the Nuggets and Timberwolves. They was playing that they not like us. 
that's crazy. And when that song just got put out like days ago, and Drake was like, well, you're, you're, you, don't, you don't make club bangers. Well, Muster, DJ Mustard made a club banger and Kendrick delivered. So I did hear Drake's um, Heart Part 6. I was really, it felt like when you look, when you hear the, when you hear the, when you hear the, the song, it seems like Drake's defeated. It seemed like he just lost the battle. That's what it seems like. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I ain't gonna hold y'all long. I'm gonna try to go grab me something to eat. I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. But I'm gonna hit y'all back, man. Give me y'all thoughts and 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 how y'all feel about the situation. I'm gonna get back to y'all with another video. Um, probably the, before I go to work today, or probably after, uh, probably tomorrow. So I'm gonna get up out of here, man. This your boy D Chase. Um, please definitely get some. I need some likes up in this bad boy. I need some comments, man. I need some subscribers. So please sub up to your boy if you haven't. Um, I made great content. Um, sub up to the rest of my DV fam too, man. Um, and and hit that bell so you can get every time I drop a video, man. I'm gonna try to drop them more rapid, back like I was before. So I'm gonna get up out of here, man. It's your boy D Chase, man. Peace and salute.